Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Squad Builder series, and this one is going to be against a fellow clubs member from the Melons, it is Sam, aka iSkill. FIFA Skiller as you all know him, one of the better ones on YouTube, if not the best, and he is the most skillful goalkeeper I know, on clubs especially anyway. So the team we're going to be showing today is going to be a Brazilian mix, uh, well, a Brazilian mix between gold and silver. With some uh, special surprise in there, if not a little bit late to get out. So we'll start off with the goalkeeper, as per usual, and it is Fabio. Decent inform keeper, quite cheap as well, 16k, so around the discard value for him. He has 81 diving, 83 handling, and 86 reflexes and 85 position, so decent goalkeeping stats all around, and quite cheap. So the first defender uh, is going to be a gold one, and it is going to be Dede. Nice little cheap uh, centre-back. There is a team of the season version of him. Usually I have had him previously in the squad builders. I've had him a few times as well. He's an absolute beast. But this one for 1.2k is also just as good. He has got well above the 70th uh, pace mark. He has an 81 in fact. 81 heading and 82 Oh, 81 defending and 82 heading, sorry. Really, really good centre back and uh, a brick wall in the three at the back formation. Now, the second one is going to be a silver. We're going to have a silver either side of him. And this one is going to be Thiago, uh, Helen, Heleno or something. 74 pace. You'll see him in a few Brazil silver teams along with Manuel, who is a Manuel, whatever, who is our other centre back. Now playing three at the back, uh, three five two formation. I haven't really talked about it much, but when you are playing with this, you do need some fast as hell defenders on either side um, because you've lost the wings and that's uh, lost the two uh, wing backs, the left back and the right back. So you need to compensate for them, which is really good. So these three uh, more than more than do the job. So moving up onto the midfield, and the first DM is going to be. A silver and that is Jean. Um, there is two versions of him, two different clubs. We paid 7k for him, I thought that was quite cheap. But he is a really, really good defensive mid. He has 83 pace, so he's definitely going to trap back and get them uh, get them attackers. And these uh, other stats are all, all above average. So, really good player to start off with there. The second DM is Williams. Now, he's also in the Brazilian league. Um... Only cost me 900, but really, really good. Rocky is 84 pace and 82 defending. Absolute solid defensive mid. So the right midfielder to start off that is Danilinho. Now I have had the informed version of him up in the cam position, but I uh, didn't really like him. His defensive work rate was high, or or something like that. I can't remember which one it was. Now he has five star skills. But I have to put him in the right mid position. He he holds that position perfectly. The only downfall with him is his weakness. He uh, his strength, sorry, is really weak. He gets pushed off the ball fairly easily. And I paid 16.5 in my formation for him as well. So he's got 89 pace, 77 dribbling, 70 passing. Decent all-round player. I uh, would recommend him. And the left mid is Mikel Bastos. Decent player. Quite cheap as well because there's a few informs of him. And he only cost me 1.2. So that's good for a 5 star skiller with an absolute rocket of a shot. And fast as well. And the cam position is our man at Ronaldinho. The um, inform version of him, the only one which there is, transferred as well. He cost me 86k. That was fairly cheap on the market at that time I bought it, which was a long time ago now. Uh, so it's probably dropped a hell of a lot more. Now, the only thing with Ronaldinho I do not like is his pace, 68 pace. So when you're trying to break on a counter with him, you're not going to be able to do it. You'll have to uh, hold up the ball, flick the stick a few times, do a bit of skills, and then pass it to someone who actually, actually has got the pace. But otherwise, he's really good. Now, um, on this, I'm going to also mention the value for money, considering you can get a non-informed version of him, just a normal card for about a 1,000 coins, uh, and you're paying 80 times over that with him. 
So would I buy him again? No. I would rather pay 1000 for the gold. The value for money is not there at all. Especially as only uh, plus, I think he was 83, was he? 82 or 83 is a uh, normal card is. So the first Brazilian striker to finish off this team is Alexandra Pato. I've had him all the way throughout FIFA 12, usually with my uh, Italian Serie A gold team. He's five star skiller, really, really good. Compared to real life, he's uh, way over overpowered, overrated. He cost me 4.2k, but you are paying for it really, really good. 87 pace, 82 shooting, 85 dribbling, and 80 heading, which is really good for that striker position. So the final striker, you may have just seen him, it is Inform Joe. Now we picked him up for an absolute bargain, I think, at 149,000. Because looking on the market recently, he has uh, rocketed up to like 180k. This is on the Xbox, by the way. Um, yeah, it's really... Now I'm going to do this value for money again. He, Joe is an absolute beast on the game. He has a normal silver card. I only got acquainted with this. Uh, about a week or two ago. Now I absolutely loved him. Now the only reason I bought this one is just to see the difference. And to be honest, I would not go forking out 150k when you can buy the normal one for 3k. So directly after after recording this episode, we will be saying bye bye to Joe and Ronaldinho to uh, try and get some money, money back and money up, hopefully as well. So a bit of trade in there, which I won't show you because I'm a noob. So, with this episode also, guys, I'm going to be talking over the highlights from the game. I'll be talking about different subjects, and I won't just be showing you goals. I'll be showing you highlights from the full game, as well as uh, other events and stuff like that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I will be with you in a moment while I get my sweatbands on and commentary stuff and bottle of water. I don't know. Something like that. So, I'll see you in a few minutes, guys. Well, not a few minutes, a few seconds, and then we'll talk about some other subjects. See you later guys. Hi guys and we are back for the highlights of the game against Iskill. And this is the team he lined up with which was very similar to mine. In the fact that it was Brazilian. But he's got Leite and Cristiano Ronaldo in there as well. So quite a decent team. So he starts off with a nice bit of um, f skill to put me in my place. Now the only skill I can do is a roulette. But you do see later on that I can do a wacka wacka. Somehow, something to do with flicking the sticks as well. So I'm not really going to talk about the highlights much because they are boring and I find them boring to watch in other videos as well. Unless it's um, explaining gameplay or something like that. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is Omegle. The FIFA community has took the step to go over there, meet some of their fans and interact with them as well. Me, myself included. I went over there to have a bit of fun with uh, some of my subscribers, followers on Twitter, and people who watch my stream as well. So it's been fun for the past few days, I've been addicted to it. In some cases waking up at 5 o'clock and then going straight on it at 5 o'clock in the morning to see who is about. So, do any of you guys use it? Uh, have you seen me? Have you enjoyed it? And who else have you seen on your conquest? So I met... Um, a few people, I met Colibo, never ever, well I've spoken to him before obviously, but I've never seen him face to face, and he's actually got short hair, he's quite a young, attractive male, uh, I also met, who else did I meet, I've met Clutch on there, Eldridge as well, uh, FIFA Revs and his Superman, little thing he's got on his wall, and some other stuff. So if you guys want to see me on there or see other FIFA YouTubers, streamers, whatever, you can catch them on Twitter. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Bates87 and then I will notify you when I'm going on there. So I'll probably, you probably met me by now if you haven't already. So here, me, here it is, me getting fouled, thinking, ah, yeah, I can pull it back to a 1-1 one -one draw. But for some reason, I've gone through a stage of missing penalties. And this was no change there. So I missed a penalty. And then he clears it. After a nice bit of skill. And then he takes the win. So this was the... 
Um, this was a Brazilian squad builder done. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you're not, and comment in the section below about some of the questions I've asked you, and maybe future squad builders themselves. And if you actually enjoy me talking over the highlights, otherwise you'd rather listen to some dubsteps music or some things like that, like the cool kids do. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next time.